Hello and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Friday the 23rd of November 2018 and the time is just gone 12.02 GMT. And this week's Chart of the Week is the US dollar, Canadian dollar, the dollar CAD. Uh, starting off, we look at a daily chart here and we are looking at it on a, quite a wide uh, time frame. We're looking at it for the last um, 12 or kind of 14 months. And if you look back from September 2007 until now, Despite the fact that we have some fairly decent swings um, in the dollar CAD, broadly speaking, the, the market the market has been clearly to the upside. That being said, we have we have seen retracements; they have been fairly sizable. But the big picture is that the dollar CAD has been pushing higher to the upside um, for the last about uh, 14 months. And if you take a look at the daily chart and zoom it in a bit, uh, and take a look at the price action since early October. We can see it's been a fairly uh, steady upward trend, a nice, a nice series of higher highs and higher lows. So a classic example of an upward trend. Uh, and I, in fact, earlier this week, uh, the dollar CAD hit its highest level since June. So it was actually at a five, five month high, which actually is a fairly clear sign of, of how bullish and how strong the market is going. Uh, if you do continue to push on higher from here, we could be looking at, tar we could be looking at targeting the June high of one spot 3386 and if we go beyond that we could be looking at heading up towards the 135 area uh, any move to the downside in the dollar CAD may find some support coming to play in around these this area here in at the well both the what the water day moving average the yellow line here and the blue line here at the 50 day moving average um, the water day moving average comes to play in at one spot 30 71 and just below that is the 50 is just below that is the uh, 50 moving average notice how both lines uh, have acted as both kind of support and resistance uh, in, in recent months and if a metric has acted as fairly decent support and resistance in recent months it makes it the more likely that they will do so in the future although there are no guarantees and even if you do drop below um, the 50, 50 moving average here the blue line support may come into play uh, at this red line here at the 30 moving average and the 30 moving average comes into play just south of one spot 30 one spot 2989 because even though we, we had a fairly a fairly sizable break below it um, in early October once we actually managed to regain uh, the the 30 moving average did act as fairly decent support so it may act as support again in the near term and a break but if you do see a break below the 30 moving average that could suggest we're heading back that could suggest uh that the the recent upper trend that has been in place since early october has actually come to an end we could be looking heading back down towards 129 or possibly even down at, at retesting the october low at one spot 27.82 if you are going to be trading the dollar CAD, please keep an eye out for the Canadian economic indicators which are coming out today at half one UK time, half one GMT. Uh, that is Canadian retail sales and Canadian inflation. It's also worth um, keeping an eye on the oil price. The Canadian dollar is um, is often very is often um, highly correlated to the price of oil uh, price to the oil market. Uh, so, uh, so we've seen quite a bit of pressure on in oil in uh, in recent weeks and also again today. Uh, so if you get to see continued pressure. On the oil market, we could see continued pressure on the Canadian dollar. Um, just want to put, say, if you have any, any comments on this videos or any of the other videos we've made here at CMC Markets, please feel free to leave a review on Google Reviews. And that's all for me this week. Thank you very much.